Next week marks the final episodes of Bulgasal, and thankfully these last two episodes have finally begun to piece the puzzle together. The final question remains, who killed Hual a thousand years ago? What made him take Ote's soul, giving him the dark hole? We now know that Sangun and Hual were lovers, and something terrible happened which caused him to go on a rampage. There are still some lingering questions. Hual takes Ote's soul, Sangun takes Ote's soul from Hual, and the ill-fated relationships continue for another 600 years. How will this story conclude? And Will the cycle finally end? Also, is this guy wearing a bodysuit? What's up, Sunday fans? Welcome back to another video. We are on the final stretch of Bulgasal. So let's get down and dirty to the nitty and gritty. All the puzzle pieces are starting to come together. We find out that they were lovers. But before we get to all of that, because a lot of revelations are starting to formulate in our heads, it's a sad ending. It's just, Well, it's a sad episode. R.I.P. Miss Lee. This whole thing about Wall's family always being in danger just kind of makes me, it's, it's so mm -hmm. tragic to watch this. And with these last two episodes with Miss Lee, uh, you know, mm. finally meeting her end in such a tragic way, it was so, it was so tragic and so sad to see. And Wall is having a really hard time coping with it. You know, he yes. comes out at first really, really cold and he tells Sang Un, he's like, oh, he she wasn't really family. You don't have any time worrying about the dead. And so he just kind of like shrugs it off. But then, you know, we get to a sequence where it yeah. goes through a flashback of memories going back in time all the way to when she was a child in the orphanage. And he realizes that he never really treated her well. But he ultimately considered her a fa as family, right? Like, mm -hmm. because like you could see in his face, he was very sad about it. He was very distraught. And as much as he didn't want to admit it, he was truly hurting inside. And that, that was some sad sequence of montages that we got for Miss yeah. Lee. And I'm actually really sad. I was really kind of curious and, and I was wondering if Paul was starting to lose his humanity, starting to become like Okolte himself. Thankfully, he wasn't. You know, there are some things that Ulte has been saying, like while showing his true colors and kind of revealing the entire story to us. And it kind of makes me question whether or not he is actually a villain or just like the foil mm, to Hual. Because, I'm not sure. Because, you know, like when he says, hey, Hual's going to show his true colors. Did he show his true colors? Well, and then like in that scene yes. where he lost mm. his mind. This is where all the juices are starting to kind of overflow. Right. Because it makes you think that Hual was the, is the big bad villain here, right? But it could be just from Okolte's perspective. Now remember Okolte was- Unreliable narrator. Right. Now remember he was disfigured. He was kind of an outcast. There was nothing more that Okolte wanted but to be a Bulgasal, right? Mm -hmm. And so what made Hual go on that rampage. Now remember the sequence of events where Hual was telling Sang Un, was like, you're very fond of these children and I'm afraid you're gonna leave me in, or so something like that, yeah. right? In one of those flashback memories. But what if Hual ended up falling in love with those children and the villagers somehow kind of did something to those children because they were associated with the Bulgasals. There's some validity to entertaining that theory because as we find out with Miss Lee's flashbacks, mm. you know, the orphanage didn't really treat her well yeah. and then the kids made fun of her. So I think there are some like outcasts mm -hmm. in the children department a thousand years ago that always sought out Sang Un you know, for comfort and for consolation. Mm -hmm. And Hual was like, you treat them as if you're, they're your own kids. I'm afraid of what this might do to you. And then as Flip says, something happens in the village where the kids that she cares for, mm -hmm. something happens and he goes on a rampage and just kills the entire village. And she's looking on and she's like, no, I don't want you to do this. And then something happens yeah. with, uh, with Ol Tay. Yeah. I think that's what, I mean, it only makes sense, right? Like, Okolte wanted to be a Bogosal, so Hual takes his soul, filling, giving him that dark hole, so he's only half a Bogosal. So Hual eventually reincarnates, and in order for him to become another Bogosal is for Okolte, they struck a deal, right? Mm -hmm. So Okolte needs to find him, he has a scar on his hand, and finds him and turns him into a Bogosal. But, <laughs> but throws a wrench in the whole plan, and Sang Un instead takes Okolte's soul with her 600 years ago. And this is part of the lingering questions that still come up with these latest revelations from these last two episodes mm -hmm. because it seems like, you know, Hual and Sangun were both lovers. They were both original Bulgasal and 
Ulte wanted to become one and he struck a deal with Wall, mm -hmm. but then that resulted in Wall taking half of his soul mm -hmm. and then Sang Un taking that soul and yeah. then like it just went like like yeah, ping pong. I mean, yeah, and it's in perpetual motion and never ending cycle of ill fated friendships and death and all of that stuff. Just people really wanting right? their souls back. Yeah. That's all still kind of muddy, right? But like in in all honesty, it feels right to me in my head actually like right now it's like well that kind of makes sense well these guys were very much intertwined ill-fated okulte wants to be a full bogusal but in order for him to be a full bogusal sang un needs to die and in order for sang un to die Hwal needs to get abandoned. This is why he's got this elaborate plan going on. He ends up hating Sang Un at some point in his in his elaborate he plan. He wants to be like a Bulgasol with Hwal at first, but now he just wants to kill Hwal and then just kind of take it all, I guess. Well, things are changing, I guess, right? Like, yeah. I, like that's still one of the things that we need to see in the final two episodes. And I hope that we're right about this. Like, I think this is where it's leading to. At some point, Hual needs to decide whether or not he's going to continue this cycle of ill-fated relationships. Mm. Because, I, because I think that he takes what the shaman says 600 years ago, literally, mm -hmm. and is like, oh, all of these relationships are bound to be harmful mm. going forward forever, for all time. And so he takes that thinking and moves forward and says, hey, that's a person from 600 years ago. We're gonna have an ill-fated relationship. And then they, and then he treats them like garbage. <laughs> and, you know, the only thing that kind of has changed over the 600 years was his relationship with the shaman, mm -hmm. uh, with Miss Lee. Mm -hmm. So I think what it all comes down to, or what it's going to come down to, is Hual deciding for himself what needs to happen moving forward instead of relegating himself to what was predetermined mm. from some shaman 600 years ago. Now, in order to break that cycle, do you think it's just like, all right, screw Okote, let's all move to like America or something and just like not worry about this whole thing? Is there a Bulgasol in America? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But there's going to be something, some kind of revelation in the final two episodes. And we're all really just speculating here. I think Hual is going to ultimately decide to just destroy Okote and then that's it. Sangun still has that soul and, you know, they can just be two Bulgasals because right there's still there's still a part that Sangun needs to reawaken as a Bulgasal yeah. right I also think there's something to consider when it comes to Miss Lee's prophecies and all of the things that she mm. says with her white-eyed you know visions and I think that has something to do with it the evil spirit which one is the evil spirit mm. it might not be Ulte and it might not be Hual or Sangun mm. it might be something external from this entire it's a, story something is supposed to come out of the, the the dark hole she said and so currently we're thinking that an evil spirit that's external from this entire conflict that has been just perpetuating this cycle unbeknownst to them is going to come fill the dark hole with his own soul mm -hmm. making Ulte a full-blown Bulgasal and Ulte is going to wreak havoc uh, but I think that my current theory or my current uh, my current speculation on how this is going to end is I think that they're going to find a way to eradicate the Bulgasal curse entirely mm. and that will result in Hual Sangun, Shio, and Doyun finding peace. Living Be happily living as happy. humans. <laughs> living happily ever after as humans. So Sangun and Hua becoming human at some yes. point. Wow, that is pretty Aish. cool. Wow. <laughs> in any case, let us know what you think in the comment mm. section below. If you have your own theories as to what's going to happen next week, please leave it in your comments. But of course, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and turn on notifications. But as always, this is what we're watching this Sunday and we'll see you guys next time.